Hey folks, my name is Nick from Board Game Brawl, and this is your Kickstarter update. And I am trying to stay in the holiday spirit here, but I gotta tell you, there's not a lot going on on Kickstarter right now, at least in the board gaming section. Not a lot of things that I think are worth talking about, to put it nicely, but that was to be expected. We're kind of in a holiday drought, which happens from year to year, but I still wanted to check in with all of you before the holidays, and there are a couple of interesting things to talk about. Let's go ahead and start with the game from Mike Selinker and the world of Numenera. The Ninth World is a card game that has been dubbed a skill-building game from the company Lone Shark Games. It's set in the Numenera universe from uh, Monty Cook, which is a high fantasy universe set like, I think, literally a million years in the future. So you have fantasy-type people and characters, but who are interacting with high-tech um, equipment and items and such like that. So it's a very interesting world to set it in, and I think that's one of the reasons to keep, uh, be on the lookout for this game. It's also, uh, among others, is from designer Mike Selinker, who's responsible for the Pathfinder Adventure Card game and the upcoming Apocrypha game, so that really has my interest as well. I am a little bit perturbed that the game is a competitive game that still has some like um, campaign-style exploring gameplay where you're taking these characters using the uh, three-adjective system from Numenera and going from location to location and going through bits of a story but you're still working against each other and getting victory points that seems like a weird dichotomy to me but nevertheless i'm still interested in it and hopefully you are too just to illustrate how slow it is on Kickstarter, I'm going to talk about an accessory, not a game. These are the Wormwood Dice Vaults for War Machine and Hordes. Now, you might be thinking, like, why would I bother mentioning something that's for miniatures gamers? Well, that's because I previously on Kickstarter Update had talked about uh, Wormwood before with their dice towers, which are like, um, they're made out of wood, they're magnetic, they, they, they break down and then assemble really quickly. They're awesome. And so this definitely caught my eye for War Machine and Hordes, because whether you play the game or not, these look amazing. If you do play the game, it's cool because it can um, emblazon and carve in the uh, a very nice looking symbol for each of the different factions from that miniatures game, along with their the title with uh, for a separate dice holder, and of course it's got the magnetic uh, sealing uh, boxes, just like with the dice tower that I had before, so definitely something to keep your eye on. I don't even play War Machine or Hordes, but I'm interested in this just as a standard dice tray to roll dice in because it's that good looking. My name is Nick from Board Game Brawl. You can check me out at youtube.com forward slash board game brawl. This has been your Kickstarter update and a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate to everyone out there. Peace!